I don't know if you can see this, there is nine sharks here. It's absolutely out of control, if not more. We are not getting any fish in in this spot, that's for damn sure. That oh. splash was epic, look at them. Yeah, G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Explore Life. Uh, if you've just tuned in, my name's Matt, I'm traveling around Australia in my 79 with a 14 foot caravan. Now look, I've made it to an absolute bucket list place of mine and uh, to say I'm stoked is a complete understatement. If you have just joined us guys, make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe, we really do appreciate it. Turn that bell on so you don't miss any updates. We're here in Broome on Cable Beach the sun is literally just going down in the background. Absolutely incredible. Oh, this is gonna be an epic couple of episodes. From here, we're gonna make our way up to Cape Levique and then out through the Gibb River. Woo -hoo! Let's go. I'll tell you what, it's been a pretty cruisy little little day. I uh, got up late brekkie, dropped the caravan off at the old caravan joint. A little bit of toasty and a, a cold beverage for lunch. Just had a beautiful little swim. Now uh, I've just got to head back into town and pick the van up. Well, I'll tell you what, how's this for a bloody full coincidence? I was just cruising along, walking next to the camels and uh, just did a little GoPro then. I think it's Red Sun Camel Tours. And I thought, oh, I might do it. I asked someone, have you got a book? She said, yeah, there's a bit of a waiting list. I thought, oh, I won't worry about it. Rob comes up and goes, you want a free camel ride? Now he doesn't know I do YouTube or any of that. He just goes, I train the camels and I've got a new one second from the back. And normally there's a Swedish backpacker that sits on it, but she's not here today. How would you like a free camel ride? I said, bloody oath I want a free camel ride so we're on I'm gonna go park up the car now and uh, we're on for a free half hour camel ride along Cable Beach you're joking I got Wilbur and this is Coco that's your ride how good Well, there you go, that was camel riding on Cable Beach, another bucket list item, done, tick. Um, shout out to Bob, absolute legend for grabbing us. The camel I was riding, he was the uh, trainee camel, so free camel ride on Cable Beach. Absolutely stoked. Make sure you get down, check out the crew at Red Sun Camels. Definitely the mob to do it with. Absolute legends. I found this bloke on Google, Kimberly Trailer Parts. Now, um, he's in Broome. I tell you what, if you're coming up here and you need a caravan serviced, come see this bloke. He knows this stuff inside and out, and he's actually a top bloke. It was 260 bucks. I haven't had my van serviced too much, so I don't know if that's dear or expensive or not, but it sounds bloody cheap to me. I'm, I'm not sponsored, I don't bloody, he didn't, he didn't look after me, he didn't want to plug at all he doesn't know what i bloody do go in get your van service with that bloke because he is all over it shout out to him you're a bloody legend thanks for looking after us appreciate it we're all rigged up ready to go for the gib even if your van's not due for a service for 260 bucks come in get everything checked over before you leave broom and hit the gib <laughs> let's go have a cold beer
This is a proper bucket list moment for me. I'm absolutely grinning from ear to ear. Uh, tonight, I'm going to go into the pub, have a bit of a feed. I managed to park the van up um, at a caravan park, which was a fluke. Someone told me there's roughly 17 odd thousand people normally in Broome. At the moment, there's like 55 thousand people, so it's crazy up here. I've got a surprise for you guys. I've got a bloke coming to join me uh, for the next few weeks. I think you're going to be pretty excited, pretty happy. Um, you guys loved him in some of the last couple of episodes, so that, that's a bit of a clue. But anyway, guys, I don't know if I'm going to film much more tonight, but I'll definitely see you in the morning. All right, well, I'm back here in my new home, Cable Beach. I absolutely love it down here. I even brought the vision down. This beach is literally hard as a rock. You just got to go over a couple little rocks on the entry, and uh, you're in here, absolute paradise. Now, look, I just seen a plane cruise past. I just missed it on the GoPro. So, the visitor, my surprise guest, is about to land. We're going to run down to the airport now. Let's go pick him up. Chuck in the comments, who do you reckon is coming along for the ride? I'll pick one of you guys that uh, comment. If you get it right, I'll chuck you a free uh, Explore work shirt. Big horse. You again. <laughs> What's going, What's on, going on here? <laughs> oh, he's done himself a mischief. Oh, wrestling crocodiles and big balls, you know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we uh, have come straight down to Cable Beach. Basically, I, I mean, I've been telling Nav, I've been hanging out here every day, but it's so beautiful. So we thought we'd come down here um, Nav hasn't been on the beach other than playing army, <laughs> so we That's come nice. down to chill out, and we've got a bit of a plan. We're gonna we're gonna sort of do all the chores today. We've got a few things to muck around with on the car, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll go do a bit of a food shop. Yep. And Thank probably you. go to the pub tonight and have a cold beer and chill out, and then uh, we're gonna meet up with one of your mates tomorrow. Yep. We're gonna meet up with one of my mates tomorrow. He's gonna take us out to some of his uh, secret spots out here in the water. See if we can catch ourselves a some big fish fingers crossed if the wind drops off tomorrow which they reckon it should um late morning so it's looking good so far we'll uh we'll get stuck into all the chores we'll see you tomorrow we're going fishing you <laughs> oh we've just pulled down onto uh what's the name of this point uh ganthian point ganthian Ganthin point Beach, yeah. meeting up with matt he's bringing the boat down we're going out for a fush looks like the wind's just dropped off a little Lassie. bit it's pretty good. It's not bad. I wouldn't say glass, but it's not <laughs> bad. So we're gonna put it in, go for a bloody run, and see if we can catch ourselves a feed for dinner, eh? Well, you have to do all the fishing. I've got. Yeah, one arm nav. He's gonna be the boat driver. I'm the driver. Done. It's the man himself. Mark. Man himself. Oh, we all. He's the the man who knows everything. Apparently, he's got uh, all the <laughs> secret spots, and he's guaranteed a fish. Guaranteed a fish. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna put one rod together. We're gonna load all the gear in the boat, and uh, how far out are we going, mate? About eight to ten k. Eight to ten k. Eight to ten k out there, mate. And that wind's dropping off, eh? Yeah, Hopefully. the wind's just gonna keep dropping and glass out this afternoon. Woo! Happy days. Good job, good job, everyone. Keep pushing. <laughs> we're in. We're on here. Mihalco 900 million thousand bang laser pro goodness. So I'll, I'll buy one of those too. Bring on, <laughs> bring on the baggies. Got UK um, against Australia. Come Matt, on, Aussie. Don't let us down. One jaws oh, in. One jaws in. Here we go. One for the one for the UK. Oh, he's oh, lost he him. It. No, he's still on. Oh, one of those uh, little. Does that, that does mean you lose a point? Oh! <laughs> Those are, oh, what are you... that was a big shark too. Still trying to pull this big shark in so we can see if we can get our lure back. So we've changed out. To rest the arms and see if Big Mac can warn him in. Oh, he's getting some. Are you joking? Oh, got it. Oh, probably lost him. Look at these sharks. Woo! Good work, man. <laughs> That splash was epic, look at them. Look at them. I don't know if you can see this, there is nine sharks here. It's absolutely out of control, if not more. Oh, that's 
fucking nuts. One, two. Oh my god. We are not getting any fish in in this spot, that's for damn sure. And since I got the shark to the boat, I think that's one nil. <laughs> we just pulled up when we were mucking around with those sharks. We had the engine killed out of nowhere. All these whales just popped up, started swimming directly at us. Probably five big buggers too. Got um, some absolutely epic drone shots, just cruising above them. Woo <laughs> Tuna. <laughs> uh, all right, <laughs> one point on the boat. What right in the boat? Let him go. Hurry, yeah. bruh. Oh, let him go. So, uh, the UK, one point for the UK, two for the Australians. We're still in the lead, boys. We're still in the lead by one. Come back, man. Oh, uh, here we go. So, what's that? Two for. Two for uh, two UK. Ten. Oh, you're on. Oh, come on, man! You better get him in. We're drawing at the moment. Need this one. You need it. We haven't got a choice. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that even a point? <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. We'll take the point. <laughs> is that bait? Is that bait? Yeah. <laughs> this could be the day over. Representing UK. This could oh. be. The oh no! He's dropped him. Oh. He's dropped it. It's I tell you what, it is that good being on the water as the sun goes down. Colours are popping, 360 degrees. The fish are just coming on the bite. So we hope anyway. Oh, Navi! The big horse. No, dropped him. him. Dropped him like a sack of spuds. Nice. Nav's on, first fish of the bloody trip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. That's the cutest thing I've ever catch seen. Catch of the day. <laughs> Good morning from the van. Jeez. <laughs> I've, uh, I've just spent the morning dumping cards and bits and pieces. Nav's gone and got a bloke of coffee. What a bloody gentleman. Someone's gonna look after you. So we're on the coffee, we've got a plan. Uh, yes. Me, Navzi, and uh, Matt, we're heading we're heading north. North, straight up to uh, Middle Lagoon. Middle Lagoon, or yeah, somewhere yeah. there. Well, Matt's gonna bring his boat up that we took out yesterday, so fishing uh, and spearing. He's got a couple spots up there. Yep. Ooh-wee! good. Keen to get in and have a spear. Blue water. Are you going to spear? Yeah, I'll go and spear with my left hand and <laughs> drive the boat. <laughs> and protect uh, you from sharks. All right, let's finish these coffees, <laughs> pack up. We're on the road! We are locked, we are loaded, we're full of water, we're full of fuel, we're yeah, full yeah, of food, heavy. we're full of beer. <laughs> we have got everything you could possibly need for a bloody good time and we're going to go and have it. That's it. It's about 187 k's, so... Happy days. Yeah. Let's get up there, find a beautiful little spot, and mate, I reckon we're gonna park up for two days here. Yes, we'll spend one night with Maddie, and then he's going home, back to work, and I reckon we'll just chill out for another night. See what we can find. Woo -hoo -hoo. Sounds good. I love that noise. Interflakes on, tires are going down. Nav's trying to learn how to put tires down. It's like watching a cow try and climb a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. on so we got the last beach spot she might be a little bit squishy but um she be right so you've uh you've been here before so you got a couple you got a little bit of local knowledge here so that's why we're going to check out middle lagoon first though 
160. Yeah, it's just pop up here a couple of times a year, just go for a little chew. What are we chasing? That wants to know what he's eating for dinner. <laughs> so blue bone and more blue bone. Sounds blue good bone. Sounds good to me. That's good to me. Happy days. Oh, um, I think we've got about 5k to go and uh, we'll be bloody close, so I'll see you there. First round is on you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll have a look at this. This is our little campsite. Good spot. Look at that. If you're gonna come to Main Beach, make sure you ask for a beachfront spot because prime, prime not bad, not bad, Navi. Who, who's next water. door? Oh, you wouldn't believe it. We part right next door to good old Tox Tackle. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> so there's actually an episode going up tonight of us heading out to Steep Point. And uh, not only are we in the same campsite, literally, they are the spot next door. So we're not going to stay here for very long. <laughs> we're leaving tomorrow. Well, we didn't muck around. We got the van set up, rooftop popped. We're going fishing. Going fishing. Let's go. It's I'm an absolutely driver. beautiful bloody day out there I'll too. I'll be driving. Matt's going to be in the water spearing. Yeah, we got all the spear gear in. We've been told it's super sharky. So we're just going to have to be a little bit careful, but I reckon we're on. We're on today. I can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it. I can feel it in my loins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what your loins are feeling. Right, oh, well, we've just come out. Conditions aren't quite as uh, nice as we were hoping. The wind's up. It is actually uh, about half a metre of chop. Well, we've found a couple of bombies out in the middle here. We're going to jump into a little drift over them, see if we can't find anything lurking. One up for you, mate. Good work. Look at that blue bone. Like Woo. Woo. Look at that. Did you catch that talk? Yeah, mate. Just so yeah. you did. Oh, look at look that. that. <laughs> Lovely. Tea tonight. <laughs> How are we going out there? Oh, not great. But just finding bluebird lead on the floor anyway. <laughs> so she was a pretty unsuccessful little mission. Uh, I may have shot one blue bone. It got away and someone may have found one laying on the floor. <laughs> so it looks like the bloke that put it in the boat gets to fillet it. What do you reckon? Put in the comments. <laughs> Should he fillet it or me? It's definitely he's got to fillet it now. I'm just going to eat it. <laughs> well, we're just going to put the boat back up there now. Kick back, have a few cold ones and watch the sun go down, I think. And then Nav can cook me dinner. <laughs> we got the fire that's just about out. The sunset we missed because we were mucking around trying to play with an awning. But now the colours are out. It's absolutely beautiful. We got the kitchen out. Chili con carne for dinner. With some Doritos. Woo! Doritos. So, more like a nachos. Nah, it's Matt's, Matt's chili con carne, El Paso style. It's going to be great. The boys aren't sure about it. If they don't like it, they can go off. Jump in the ocean. Jump in the ocean. <laughs> that's a better one. We're off. We uh, got up bright and early this morning. Not that early. <laughs> Seven o'clock. So. We've, done, we've done a real quick little pack up. We get, we've, uh, we're just going to run down, park up near the beach, and uh, we'll put the boat in. We're going fishing. Fish. We're going fishing. So Maddie's with us for half a day. We're going to get in, fish as hard as we can until this wind blows up. Um, I think we're going to predominantly fish today instead of spear. Yeah, I think so. We're just going to trawl around. We're, we're dying to get a mackerel, so that's that's the pea land, and then um, me and Nav will work out what we're going to do after that. It's another beautiful day. Sounds good. Let's get into it. So far, quick little report, middle of the lagoon, good spot as long as you're um, 
on the on the on the, on the, on the beachfront. If you can get on the beachfront down there, absolutely beautiful. Look over the whole bay, crack a little sunset, and then um, short little 30 second drive down to this little bay, and this is where everyone launches their boats from. I'm a fan. Bad size there, man. Very slowly getting bigger. <laughs> Still not yeah. Beautiful fish. We got one. We're, on. We're finally on. <laughs> I was asleep on the back of the boat. Oh no! Did you just drop him? No. Oh, thank God, we got a fish. <laughs> it's been a slow day out here on the water, but we've been persistent. Oh, oh no! Shark, oh. right. No, we just got sharked. No. I didn't even feel the shark. Oh, it just that smashed it. Look at the size oh, of it. No, we're done. We're going in. That is oh. a bloody oh. massive mackerel head. That is a massive mackerel. Oh, hold the head up. Give us a look at the size of that bloody thing. That shark must have absolutely just demolished it. No. Oh. You're kidding! Well, well, well. Devo. What happened? What a heartbreaker. We uh, hooked onto a, I don't know, giant uh, mackerel and uh, got sharked. And that was it. That was the oh, day. That was the day. Made us wait out there for another hour and a half trying to chase that dream. That was the day. She was a shocker of a day. About six hours. Couldn't catch a cold. <laughs> but we're going to pull up on the beach here. We're going to have a bit of a feed, get the boat all cleaned up and then uh then we'll work out what we're doing make a, make a new plan oh we sneaky little ice block for the road mate yeah it's good so the plan is now we're going to make our way up to signet bay local fella up there he's going to take take us fishing i think or, or at least let us on his land which mm. is um going to be pretty cool because pretty busy up that top end so and it's pretty difficult to get the communities at the moment with um, COVID, so mm. you have to get permission to get out there. Yeah, so, so we've been invited out by uh, one of the one of the owners, and I think it's his nephew or or son that's going to um, look after us. So hopefully, pretty excited. Yeah, can't wait to Cup, see that part of country. Should probably take us a couple of hours to get up there, but we'll enjoy these on the way. Let's go. We just got back to the main road now, so we're going north. Yep. Matty's going south, which means I've got to put up with this bloke on my own. <laughs> Don't leave me, Matty! Don't leave me with Nav! I'll stay with Nav, you go back to work for me. <laughs> <laughs> on second thoughts, all right, Nav, let's go. Done. <laughs> oh, thanks for showing us around, mate. Easy, buddy. See you next week for the rodeo. Right? Yes, rodeo in Broome. We're probably not going to film that one. <laughs> <laughs> Time to hit the road. Let's do it. Well, we just went for a little walk up to um, the actual Signet Bay reception area. Beautiful little pool. Yeah, beautiful little um, should have taken the dope, infinity right? pool. Yes. Yeah, bush. infinity pool. That's the yeah. word. But we're not staying there. That's too flash for us. We're going bush. Well, maybe. <laughs> We've got to find our way through first. Fingers crossed. You know what? You wouldn't want any bigger than the old uh, fourteen foot vision. Old vision. As far as off-road vans go, mate, this thing is a little beast. We drag it everywhere, and uh, now we'll just show you sort of how tight we can actually turn this thing to get out of a pickle as well. Pretty much a 90 degree, look at this. Go right on. Pardon? You can go back a touch. You haven't got much. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Look at that. Have a look at this. As far as... <laughs> it's too much dead alongside him. All right, here we go, down. That's not good for any of my cables. Oh, that is not good. <laughs> That's not, <laughs> not good for any of the cables. Righto, all right. Well, we're not far, there's water up ahead. 
Well, guys, the sun's just going down. That's the end of this episode. You're gonna to have to stay tuned next week to find out if we make it out to this little beach. We might be here a while. If you have enjoyed this, guys, make sure you like, subscribe. It's gonna be a long afternoon. Till next time, make sure you get out and enjoy the explore life. Yeah!